Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. How are you doing, guys? Great. <laughs> Great, okay. All right, all right, that's good. It's good to have you back. Also, thank you, Alison, for being here. A couple of you guys actually mentioned that we'll be late because of traffic, they are working, etc. So, yeah. um, we're going to be expecting them throughout the class. Okay, now, um, let's go ahead and start with yesterday's class. May you tell me what was yesterday's class about? It was about, um, how to learn new vocabulary mm -hmm. and in which cases we could use it. We learn, for example, the words as eh, non-stop, mm -hmm. slow, take off, and examples, and in which um, kind of things mm -hmm. you can have these scratch or crack, for example. Okay, so types of damages, right? Yep, types. Okay. Of so, what types of damage do you remember? Uh, I have um, rotten Rot for food and beverages. Okay, rotten. Rotten, chip, pain, and scratch, crack, okay. dent, and leak. That's okay. the one I have. Got it. So, Aldo, when do we use those things? We use it when we ha when we want to to say something about the luggage or the product that we order online, for example. Okay. The way the, the way that that we receive the product that we order. Mm -hmm. Or, for example, if we, if we are talking about dent, if someone hit our car. If someone hits our car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and it's a hit and run. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a hit and run situation. Yeah, that happens yeah. a lot. In this country, yeah. it does. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Very, very common. They don't even leave the quesito. <laughs> That's right. They don't even leave a leave. quesito. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So um, let me see. I'm going to get remember that the first few minutes of the class, we're going to be using them to uh, review. Okay. So in this particular case, uh, we're going to be dealing with vocabulary covered. Now I need some volunteers. Me. Allison. Okay, thank you, Alison. How do you say quebrado? Mm, broken. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can keep it like this. Andrea, how do you say astillado? Starts with CH. You are muted. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. It's chipped. Yep, chipped. Correct. That's right. It is chipped. Uh, let me see. Aldo, how do you say a rayado or con scratches? Scratch. Ah, sí, casi, casi te lo dije todo, ¿verdad? <laughs> oh, interesante. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. Now I got Gladys. Yes. Okay, good. How do you say um, que tiene una rajadura? Crack. Crack. Correct. Mm -hmm. Cracked. That's right. Okay, and uh, then we have Eric Arnaldo. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Sir, let me ask hello, you something. Hello. 
how do you say abollado? Okay. It would be dent. Uh-huh. That's right. Great. Yes. Great, 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 great. Alrighty, guys, so let's get it done with today's class. We have a lot of material to cover, and we're gonna be talking about identity tech. So let me share this with you real quick. Good evening. Hey, good evening, Maria Isabel. Good evening. Here we good have it. Please, read with me. I will be able to. I will be, I will able, be able to. I will be able to. Describe risks and tips related to identity theft when shopping online. Describe recent tips, and tips related, related to identity theft when shopping online. Good. Volunteer to read that one, please. Uh, hey, just one. Me. You know, you don't have to fight for it. Me. I'll go ahead, Aldo. I will be able to describe mm -hmm. risks and tips related to identity, identity theft when mm -hmm. shopping online. Okay. Excellent. What do you guys think is identity theft? When somebody yeah. uses our name to do something, maybe good or bad. Okay, makes sense. Yes, it makes sense. So that's pretty much identity theft. When someone is using your personal information, your identity, to do something else, they pretend to be you. Okay, mm -hmm. now let's go ahead and continue here. Do you know how to keep your personal information safe when shopping online? Do you, you, know, how to, do you know how to keep your personal information, information safe when you shop online? online? What would it happen if your credit card information is compromised while purchasing online? What would what happen, would happen, happen if, if your credit, credit card information is compromised, compromised while purchasing online? online? Great, I need two volunteers, one for the first question, the other one for the second one. Me for the first one. Okay, thank you, go ahead, Alison. Do you know how to keep your personal information safe when you shop online? Okay, thank you. And the next one? Yeah, I think the second one. Go ahead, Eric. What would happen if your credit card information is compromised while purchasing online? Okay. Great. So these are the questions that, are, that you will be an, uh, answering in the next couple of minutes. Do you know how to keep your personal information safe, safe when shopping online? Well, I guess, remember, we're going to see uh, information about this. I'm just giving you an answer to, for you to know what you know about the topic. Then we will fill it up. Well, um, I know that you are not supposed to give the last digits the cvv2 the cvv2 are the last four digits at the back of your card if it's no. uh, a visa or mastercard right yep yep so i know that you're not supposed to give it but some companies ask for it so they can process the charge or something like that um i know that i'm not supposed to send pictures of that or if they ask for a picture you're not supposed to send it and that information is not supposed to be stored in the website's database. That's what I know. And what would happen if my credit card information is compromised? Well, I think that someone else is gonna is gonna be very disappointed because I have no information, no money on my on my debit card. So that's number one. But if it were, if it were a credit card, then I guess that they will be buying Pollo Campero, Playstations in uh, in Curacao or something like that spending all my money that's what i think so guys um with these questions i'm gonna go ahead and copy it and you're gonna have around five minutes to answer try to use your personal information okay so please go ahead and accept the we're gonna have um hmm. people is coming so i'm gonna have two to three people in each Go ahead and accept the invite. I'm gonna send the questions to the WhatsApp right now.
Did you get it, Marcy? Yep, she did. You made? Uh, yes. Hmm. Yes, we made. Okay. Do you know how to keep your personal information safe when you shop online? Do you know how? Mm, well, Cheri, I'm in class, por favor. Uh, sorry. Uh, um, permítame un ratito. Okay, Alison, do you do you know how to keep your inf personal information? Well, the, for the things I have shopped online. Shop. Mm -hmm. Shop. Okay, for the things that I have shopped online, I just use a debit card. So I just put the amount of money I need to to use, and mm -hmm. I don't. I try to use that in safe places. Like okay. this month, I haven't had problems with in the Freo. Mm -hmm. They keep my information safe and. They just ask for your your car number and the code behind the car, mm -hmm. and that's all. So I guess. Okay. Uh, do you remember what we were talking about? Uh, I think it was the first days on the class. We were talking about the some. Actually, Sara asked for the padlock icon on the yes. URL. So. That's not, that's one way, and there is another way that you that you can keep your information safe. And that the most part of the sites or places don't require and don't need the last digit digits of your card, the ones that are in the back part. But some of yeah. them ask. Mm -hmm. That's actually the CVV two. CVV. So what it, what it does mean CVV2? CVV2, I think that is credit card validation something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Something All like right. that. A teacher. Hey, what's up? That is well, what we what know about. You, about. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, que la única manera quizás de poder guardar nuestra información personal comprando online Beautiful Spanish, man. I love it. It's very natural, you know, sí, very... Me, me cuesta, teacher, por I Dios. Know, pero aquí estoy on. de burro, aquí estoy de burro. Man. Dele, de, sin decir esa okay. palabra, pero sigue intentando en inglés. O sea, de, de mi lado, okay. usted la puede decir si quiere. Excelente, I think, déjese ir, aunque le salga I todo think, champepeado. Vámonos. Ok, I think, uh, I think, uh, one, 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 Un camino, un camino, one, a way one to way. one way uh, for the for what I have my personal information safari is is using the paper paper because this is one of the of, of the way more secure uh, to purchase online. So so teacher, okay. you can do it, man. You see, okay. we were able to understand. So yes, sir, great, great, great. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, using PayPal is safer. It, well, it's one way to keep safe the, our information when we shop online. Well, that is a good tip. Okay, okay. And another I'm way, a, an, another yeah. way, sería como este. Oops. And if my credit card information is compromised, when I buy something. Yes, it's true. And Celia. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. You were asking a question and I was on my way out. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, would be. Seria. Would be. Will, will be. Would. Okay. Would. Would be. Will, will, will be. Correct. Would be. Will be. Okay. Okay. Thank teacher. I, I think that one good way to to keep safe 
these things is uh, the credit uh, or debit card is to have a debit card just for shopping. A debit card oh, yes. that, that you can use only for shopping, even when everybody says that credit cards are safer. I have one debit card. There, there is only the money I may need to pay in that moment. In moment, but uh, I pay every month the the, the insurance, one dollar okay. or two dollars and something monthly, and Excellent. and it works and it works. The other day I, I I bought something in the same place and two days later I bought it again. So they pay that, but they block they they, they block the the card. And when I call them to us, they say because they were too. Uh, Two quantities so similar in the two. same place that was suspicious okay. so we blow and you that can be like two consecutive okay. transactions consecutive uh -huh. Uh -huh. all right okay the bank um i i thought that i had lost my money but then i went to the bank and i talked uh with a, a supervisor and said that my car my card had like an insurance, so uh, they returned me the money that refunded. the other person uh, re refunded mm -hmm. my money. Yeah, they refunded my money. They refunded my money. Um, so I, I didn't have like a lot of trouble at the end, but it was like a um, like a tense situation for me. Hmm. So I don't have a credit card. <laughs> or a debit card. Debit. I know. I have a debit. <laughs> I don't so, have it, so. I use a credit card for my mom. <laughs> I use my mom's credit card. I use my mom's credit card. So I don't pass. But if you if you had uh, a credit card and this happened, have this happen to you, what will you do? Okay. Mm, I call to the customer service. I would call. I would call to the customer service and I try to fix the problem. Um, I think I I I don't feel I very would. Feel. I, would, yes. I would feel very stressed. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Good. Good job. I mean, keep it up. Remember, even though it's difficult, practice makes perfect. Simple like that. Okay. Yeah. Practice makes perfect. All right, guys. We're going to go back to the main room, and you're going to be able to give your opinion there. Alrighty guys, so uh, people this is starting to come back and I wanna share something with you considering the fact that um, not everybody has a credit card or a debit card, right? I personally do not have credit cards because I don't, I'm not good managing my money so that's gonna be you know fatal for me but I have a debit card, right? So I'm gonna share with you some, I'm gonna share some details with you here. For example, this is the information and I'm going to give you some tips about credit cards. Okay, here it is. So some, some cards, I think some others don't, they have a chip. And then you have the, how many digits are there in a credit card? Do you know? Digits of the card number or the, uh, the secret code? The, the card number, the, no, the, the credit card number. 16. Okay. So normally in Visa and MasterCard, you have 16 digits, which it doesn't really matter the bank. It doesn't matter if it's Scotia, well, which doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't matter if it's American Express. Here in El Salvador, I think the only two that we handle are Visa and MasterCard, right? Regardless the bank. 
In the States, they also have American Express, which is a little bit different. I think Amer Amex, how they call it, has 15 or 17 digits. Um, I can't remember, but it doesn't have 16. Now, here you have the expiration date. Yes. Right? How do you say fecha de expiration? Expiration date. Expiration, right? Now, expiration. let's go with vocabulary. Do you know what is the meaning of due date? Due date, no. Due date is the last, well, due can be used for many things, but due date is the last date for you to do something. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you have, if you need to do the test, to give you an idea, your due date is Friday. It's, it's just an example. Relax. Don't get scared. All right. So a due date is the last day for you to pay your bills, for you to deliver homework, for you to do whatever, for you to pay for your driver's license, etc. And then we have expiration date, which is what we have down there. What do you think is the difference between expiration date and due date? Uh, expiration date is when you can use it uh, never. And due date is the last day that you can pay or you can buy or mm -hmm. something like that. Right, right. I'm using simple words and that's exactly it. <clears throat> the expiration date, it's the date when something will stop working or it won't be good anymore. For example, food has an expiration date because you cannot eat it after that. It doesn't have a due date. All right? So keep it in mind. This is very important. Due date and expiration date. Now, <clears throat> let me get some people here. Morena. Hello. What is the meaning of due date? <clears throat> Due date is when you, uh, is the last day that you do something. Give me some examples, please. Like when you pay your, uh, your um, bill or your credit card or another things. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Great. Um, let me see Celia. Thank you, Morena. Okay. You're muted, by the way. What is an expiration date? Uh, um, what? What is an expiration date? Expiration date is the, like the, the last day that something works. Exactly. Give me some uh, ideas, please. Some examples. Um, like, I think that the most applicable example will be the food. Okay. Maybe or or beverage. Food or what beverage. Kind of, what kind of things can have expiration dates? Great. I liked it, Celia. Thank you very much. Um, can you guys help with more examples about things that can expire? Your virus protection. My virus protection, yes. I don't even have it anymore. Correct. What else? Your antivirus. Mm -hmm. A license, Medi uh, the drive license, driver's license, medicines, uh, medicines, Do documents, documents, etc. Credit Makeup, cards. food. Yeah. So that's pretty snacks. much. The snacks. Cola. Everything Water. related to food. <laughs> Correct. So guys, uh, coming back to this, I really hope that that piece of vocabulary is good for you. So you have the credit card number. How many digits? Visa and Mastercard. 16. 16. 16. Then you have the expiration date, the name of the car holder, and at the back you have the CVV code. I, I guess that is the card verification code or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. This, make sure you don't give it to anybody, even though in El Salvador they ask for it to complete yes. the transaction. Now, another thing yeah. who has, get your debit or credit cards out, don't show it to the camera. <laughs> Please. <I don't> <laughs> No, please. Any misunderstanding. Front and back. <laughs> Get your debit cards or credit cards out. And I want you to tell me if you have a Visa or MasterCard. I have a Visa, but it's a debit card. Uh-huh. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. I'm going to get my... I have a Visa, too. 
I don't even know where my wallet is, guys. I haven't left my home since Sunday or Saturday, so I don't even know where that is. Anyways, um, tell me, guys, which is the first digit of your visa? The first four? The first four. digit of your visa. Four. 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 Correct. Three. Visas start with four. Who has a MasterCard? I don't have it. Nobody? No. MasterCards mm -hmm. start with five. Okay? So MasterCards starts with five. Visa start with four. You, just general information. Guys, where is the security code in the in the card? The CVV? CVC. CVC. In the front or the back? In the back. The back. The back. In the back. Now, in American Express, that's a little bit different. <clears throat> it's in the front. It's in the front. Correct. And it is four digits instead of three. Yep. Why am I telling you that? General information. I just want you to yes. know. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Interesting. <laughs> and also the American Express, like I said, I'm going to have to Google it, but my computer is going to freeze. <laughs> so I won't. But I think that American Express is 15 digits, if I'm not mistaken. And you don't read it in groups of four. Okay. Uh so it is very common that credit cards are read in groups of four digits. So my credit card number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's how you read a credit card number in groups of four. So, um, Roxana, what is your credit card number? No, I'm kidding. Don't answer don't that question. <laughs> I, don't <have> <laughs> I don't know. No, no, don't, don't answer that question. What is your CV? <laughs> Okay. Your CVV. Uh, CVV. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, please. <laughs> that was a joke. So you can wake up. Alrighty, guys. So, um, let me see, Ernesto. What is the first digit of a of a visa? Four. Excellent. Aha, Beatriz. I see you without the camera and with the microphone. Nice victim. Um, what is the first <laughs> digit of a of a Mastercard? Bea? Bea? Hello. Hey, welcome back from your vacation. Uh, what is the first digit <laughs> of a MasterCard? Uh, for MasterCard, five. Excellent. Aldo, where is the CVV code in uh, Visa and MasterCard? It's in, the, it's in the back. How many digits? Three. Excellent. Isabel? Where is the CVV code in a an, an American Express? In the front. How many digits? Four. Excellent. Good. What information, Andrea, what information do we have in the front of the car? Andrea, what information do we have in the front of the car? Andrea Martinez, can you hear me? Ah, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> eh, your the the number of the of the card, uh -huh. eh, the expiration date, and sometimes the. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the. All right. Good, good. Thank you very much. So, guys, let's go ahead and uh, work on this thing. I really hope that, that information is useful to you. Now, let's focus on a little bit of reading like we always do. So, please, go ahead and repeat after me. Chris and Ricardo are talking about important considerations. Chris and Ricardo are important considerations. To prevent identity theft when shopping online. Shopping online. Read the conversation. Read the conversation. Read the conversation. Practice with a partner. Practice with a partner. Great. 
So I need a volunteer to read all of that, the best of your abilities. Me, Morena. Go ahead, More. Chris and Ricardo are talking about the important consideration to prevent identity theft when shopping online. Read the conversation. Practice it. Practice it with a partner. Practice it with a partner. Excellent. So let's rock it, guys. I have been reading a lot about identity theft online for the past few days. I have been reading a lot about identity theft online for the past few days. Online. Online. Make sure that you extend the end. A financial specialist asks banks. How they plan to how they planned to solve the issue with identity theft. How they plan to solve the issue with identity theft. What's that anyway? What's, What's that, that anyway? anyway? Now everything together. Wait for me to finish, please. I have been reading a lot about identity theft online for the past few days. A financial specialist asked banks how they plan to solve the issue with identity theft. What's that anyway? Go. I have, I have been reading a lot of about identity theft online for the last few days. Financial specialist asked banks how they plan to solve the issue with identity theft. What's that anyway? Good. Volunteer, please. Let me see your hands. Me, Eric. Go ahead, Eric. I have been reading a lot about identity theft online for the past few days. A financial specialist asked banks how they plan to solve this issue with identity theft. What's that in a way? Nice. Good, good, good. The only thing that I would recommend you, and this comes with practice, guys, is the intonation because you sounded like a little bit flat, like very serious, okay? But that can be improved. Great, I liked it. Identity theft. Identity, Identity theft. theft. Okay. Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. Oh, I see. I, see. I, I see like to buy a lot, lot of electronics, electronics from the internet. Internet. internet? Internet. 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 International. 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 Center. 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 What's the difference? None. Okay. There's no Ready? difference. This is one of the rules of the American T. When you have N. And then T, it doesn't make any difference about the pronunciation. Okay? So, okay. I've heard teachers saying, no, 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 no. It's not called center. It is called center. Called center. It's both. Either or. Okay? So, when you have that, international, international, center, center, sure. it's up to you. Teacher, but what... What is more pro what is more professional? It's not about professionalism, it's just oh. a, a grammatical rule. So you can oh. use it in a job interview, you can say center or center. Center is more used in British English. Mm -hmm. Please tell me to the center. You know, like, like <laughs> Harry Potter. That yes. it's up to you. Internet in internet. All right. Let's continue. All right. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. Link it, online store. Online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. This is your personal information and your credit card number. Good. Pronunciation of your is not your, your like your. in spanish your, your. is like your. um el truco your. con la y guys la y puede ser consonante o puede ser vocal es algo tricky a veces igual la w el truco con la y cuando va al principio es que mencionen la letra i y la vocal que le sigue por ejemplo en vez de decir ya ya acá yankee decimos i a yankee 
By the way, um, this is not an advertising, but please Google or look for it on YouTube. Latenchi is asking for La Visa. Right? Really? And you're going to find, yeah, look for it. Latenchi is asking for La Visa. I have seen that video. <laughs> it's a very funny video, and you see the, the importance of knowing English and the, the correct, the wrong pronunciation of yes. Yes. Okay? So yes. keep it in mind. All right, guys. So, and there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get to your money. And there are there are there are trying to steal that information to get money. Your money. Your money. Your money. Your money. Your money. Good. Now. Your money. Wait for me. Identity theft. Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get to your money. Go. I see you like a lot of Okay, Roxana, thank you. Go. Me? Yes. I'm so slowly. Okay. Identity, identity, what? Identity, identity yeah. or identity. identity. It's up to you. Identity, theft. Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get to your money. Okay, great, I liked it. It wasn't slow, guys. Mm -hmm. And I wanna tell you something, you don't have to talk like a rapper, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, <laughs> right? Speaking fluent is speaking with, that, with minimal pauses and with a very nice pace, okay? So fast doesn't mean fluent. Now, good, I like no. it. Let's go ahead and say it with me. Profile. 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 Thieves. 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 Here. Thieves. 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 Yeah. Here. To steal. <laughs> To steal. Everything together. To steal. To steal. So you can link it. Next, so we can finish quickly. I didn't know they could do that. <laughs> I didn't know they, they didn't know that that could do that. that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. Someone recently, recently asked, 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 asked me what, what my password, 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 password was. No. I thought it was strange, but but I didn't give it them my password. Give me a second, I got confused. <laughs> I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. I, I thought, thought it was, was strange, strange, but I didn't, I didn't give, give password. 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 my password. Nice. Now here, with give them, you can say it in two different ways. Give them, give them, or you can say give them. Give them. Give them. Like things. Give them. them. All right. Now let me finish and then I need a volunteer. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me, asked me what my password was. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Go, please. I didn't know, I know they could do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. It was strange, but I didn't give them what my password was. Oh, was, 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 was. Volunteer, please. Juan Carlos, thank you for raising your hand. Go ahead. 
I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. I threw it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Okay, good. Very acceptable. I liked it. Here, um, pronunciation recently. <clears throat> recently. 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 Good. Recently. This is a very common mistake, guys, that sometimes people say actually, en vez de actualmente, they say actually. Actually is de hecho. So uh, actually, really? yes. Oh. Actually, de hecho. Mm. I didn't know. Yes, actually is. Mm, actually. actually, I already bought one, so I don't need any other one. Right? De hecho. Mm -hmm. But currently or recently is actualmente or recientemente. Currently. All right. Recently. Mm -hmm. Recently. Recently. And the last one, so we can do something else. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Don't ever give them any other information. Don't give them the password or any other information. Once, once a person sent me an email asking what sites I used to store my credit card information. Once a person sent me an email asking what sites I used to store my credit card information. Remember? La T I O N Shin 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 from the S A to the end. Great. I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Shin, nice. Volunteer, please. Go ahead. Um. Don't ever give them your password or any another or any other information. Uh -huh. Once a person sent me an email asking what sites I used to store to store my credit card information, I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Great, thank you very much. Nothing to correct. It was very good. Um, any questions about vocabulary, guys? No. Uh, bet. Nice. Bet is um, a synonym in English. Apostar? Yes, I was looking for a synonym in ah, English. I'm sorry. Te apuesto que querían robar mi información. So bet is ah, apostar, okay. it's a verb. Can I use uh, a synonym? Okay. Gamble? It could be no. used for the <clears throat> people do with money uh -huh. or just with that's, other things. That's gamble. Um, no. Gamble. Swear. Gamble. With Here. double M? No, just with one. Gamble. Eso es apostar. Strictly with money. When you go to the casino, you gamble. Uh -oh. And bet is also apostar, but... Um, te puesto un dólar. I bet a dollar, right? It can also include money, but not in a, in a game, like a casino. Or I uh -huh. bet, like an expression. Te apuesto que no se baño hoy. <laughs> an expression. Very I good. swear. I swear is like more personal. I swear I didn't do it. Right? So it's a little bit more personal. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So um, how the financial specialists uh, plan to solve the issue with identity theft? Does it say, as far as your comprehension, how do they plan to solve it? Change the credit card? Mm, they ask banks mm. how they plan to solve. And did, did he or she get any answer? No, she didn't. No, no, she didn't. Say anything about it. Mm -hmm. And that's some information that we're going to be covering today guys would you give your cv what what is the name of the passwords from the credit cards cvc 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 or cvv tvc or cvv or cvv either or don't be sorry girl get that sorry out of your mouth 
I'm still a girl. So you just say it again. Okay. CBB. CBB. Or CBB. C. C. Uh, now I got confused. CVV or CVC? If you don't know the security code in the back of the card, simple. May I please have the security yeah. card? The security code at the back of your card? No, no. thank you. <laughs> All right, very good. So, um, guys, have you heard any any problem about identity theft that you have been a part of? Or no, really? any fraud, act, fraudulent activity or any fraud you've heard of about identity theft? Yes. Yes. Would you mind showing me real quick or telling me a couple of examples, please? I was telling my group that once um, someone, uh, how do you say, here we used to say, um, clonaron a tarjeta. To clone? Yeah, yeah you can clone, clone a card. Yeah, my card and uh, the person that did that used it for to pay some bills, like <laughs> okay. uh, phone bills and stuff. Uh, it was almost a hundred dollars that they they took from my card. Uh, but I uh, the bank sold the prop sold the problem and they returned me the money like in a little pay. Uh, but it was. It was really awful because I was like in crisis because I, I thought that I was going to lose that money. Mm -hmm. um, and I cry a lot. You cry a lot? A, yes, it wasn't a good experience. Mm -hmm. But it, it happened. Well, I'm, I'm, really, um, I'm really happy that it got solved, right? And that you got your money back. Did you get the whole amount back? Yes. Okay. Did you have to pay anything for that? No, uh, apparently uh, the, the the card had uh, like an insurance. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. All right, great, uh, guys. What is the verb that we use to get money back? Refund. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Refund. Very good. So what we're gonna do right now, guys, uh, is this is part of the material that we have. Okay. And uh, I'm going to expose you um, to a little bit of a video. That is actually, this video is in the link that you have in the book. Okay, that's what I'm, I'm using for this class. So give me a second. Let me go ahead and share it with you real quick. <coughs> Bless ya. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right, here it is. So let me go ahead and, and uh, play it. I'm just gonna play it once because it is six minutes long. So please make sure to write down any piece of vocabulary. I will leave the closed caption on. Someone steals your credit card information. When your identity is stolen, a criminal can use your social security number to get a job, rent an apartment, or even take out a loan, and do it all in your name. In some cases, criminals are even filing tax returns in victims' names and taking their tax refunds. A victim of identity theft could go months before they even notice that something strange is going on. The tip-off could be a past due notice in the mail or a phone call from a collection agency about debt that isn't theirs. By that point, a lot of damage could have been done. If you notice something wrong, the most important thing is to act quickly. Identity theft is becoming pretty common, but it's still a hard crime for authorities to track, so most victims have to be very proactive in getting their identity back under their control. Think about it this way. You're going to be your own best detective on the case. So let's go through the steps you'll need to take to get your finances and credit back under your control. The first step to take as soon as you suspect identity theft is to file what's called an initial fraud alert with a credit reporting agency. Businesses have to check your credit report to open new lines of credit. So if they see there's a fraud alert on your report. What is the step number one, guys? File an initial, file file an initial, initial fraud alert. Okay. 
Nice. Just one. Double checking. Report. They may try to contact you to verify your identity before doing so, which will make it harder for a criminal to open a new account in your name. To file an alert, you can call one of the three major credit reporting agencies, Experian, Equifax, or TransUnion, and tell a representative that you're an identity theft victim and want to place an initial fraud alert on your file. It actually doesn't matter which one you call, because whichever one you choose is required to notify the other two. It's free, and the alert will stay on your account for 90 days. For even more protection, you might also want to put a credit freeze on file with all three credit reporting agencies. A credit freeze means that no... What is the step number two, guys? Initiate a credit freeze. A credit freeze. Okay, I'm going to be asking what's that, too. No credit is when you can use or business your... that offer store credit cards can look at your report without your permission. This can make it harder for a criminal to open a new account in your name. You can lift a credit freeze at any time, or lift it temporarily so someone you authorize can look at your report. In most states, setting up a credit freeze is often free for victims of identity theft, or there may be a small fee, $10 or so. The length of a freeze also varies by state. You can visit your state's Attorney General's Office website for more details. To request a credit freeze, you'll need to contact each of the three credit reporting agencies. After you've set up an initial fraud report and put a credit freeze on file as well, the next step is to start going through your credit reports. What is the other one? Um, start going through your credit reports. Correct. Um, okay. And what do you think it means? Um, maybe that you have to like verify your reports about what you both. buy or uh -huh, both or in which cases you use your credit card or something like that. Mm -hmm. That is exactly. like when it's you, like the when balance. You, when you ha when you check about the balance or the credit card bills. Uh -huh. Yes. Pretty much Check the it. report. Now, how do you say? How do you say? Um, for example, estado de cuenta. Balance. Balance. Credit card report. <laughs> uh -huh. It's right there. It can be your credit report or your bank statement. Either or, credit report or your bank statement. There might be a slight difference if you have a checking account or etc. But most of the times it is used uh, altogether. Let's continue with the next one. Or with, with this one, actually, the explanation. Your initial fraud report allows you to get free access to your credit reports from the three credit reporting agencies. Contact each one for instructions on how to get a copy of your report. You can also do this when you set up your credit freeze. Look over each report carefully and note any detail that isn't yours. Then, before you dig into the problems you may find, you'll want to file an identity theft report to let federal and local authorities know about the crime. Step three, guys. File an identity, file an identity file. report. Got it. Let's continue. The report will help you get fraudulent info removed from your credit report and can stop businesses and collection agencies from coming after you for debts that aren't yours. Filing an identity theft report is a two-part process. First, you can file a report with the Federal Trade Commission. That's the government agency that looks out for consumers and helps protect them from fraud. You can do this online at ftccomplaintassistant.gov. Once you complete the report online, you'll get an FTC identity theft affidavit, which you can print for your records. Then you'll need to file a police report. You can do this in person at your local police precinct, or you may be able to do this online. It's a good idea to call ahead to see what kind of documents you'll need to bring with you to the station to prove your identity and complete the report. Once you make your report, ask for a copy and record the police report number. 
Your FTC identity theft affidavit and your police report together make a complete identity theft report. Now that you're armed with your identity theft report, you're ready to take on each fraudulent item you found in your credit report. For each fraud, you'll need to file a dispute with the fraud department of each credit reporting agency and contact any lenders or collection agencies involved. This part of the process can mean a lot of phone calls. What is the other step, guys? And in some cases, it can take a lot of time. It's a good idea to keep a written record of each call you make, noting the date and time, as well as the name of each person you speak with and any instructions they give you so you can take the next steps. The FTC also has many helpful resources for this part of the process, like checklists and instructions for how to dispute different claims at ftc.gov. At this point, you can also place an extended fraud alert on file with each of the credit reporting agencies. An extended fraud alert is free and lasts for seven years. It will allow you to get two free copies of your credit report each year, so you can... And the last one? You got it. Keep on top of any new suspicious activity. And one more thing. There are more credit reporting agencies than just the big three. There are also many smaller, local, or regional ones that could have reports of other fraudulent activity in your name. So it's a good idea to check your local listings for other agencies and file fraud alerts with them as well. Getting your life and your credit score back after an identity theft can be a challenge. Guarding your personal information carefully, especially your social security number, can help you avoid identity theft in the future. For more ways to protect your information, check out our other video, Keeping Your Financial Information Safe. All right, let me get out of this real quick. Identity theft isn't just a case of account fraud where someone steals your credit card information. When your identity is stolen, a criminal... <clears throat> Alrighty, guys. So uh, this is what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna call attendance. I'm gonna take attendance, and after that, you are going to be um, discussing the steps with your classmates. Okay. So let me do it right now. Everybody, ready, please. Ana Maria Marroquinos Rivera. No. Um, give me just a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. Ana Maria Marroquín Rivera not here. Andrea del Carmen Martínez Aragón. Present. I see you. Okay. <laughs> Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba. No. Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. Present. Thank you. Gladys Idalia Meléndez Hernández. Present. I see you too. Aldo Sadi Castro play this. Present. Thank you, sir. Eric Arnaldo Celada Ayala. Present. I see you. Ernesto Antonio Castillo. Present. Present. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. Not here. David Orlando Nerio. No, David Orlando. Marcela Beatriz Lopez Pira. Present. I see you. Roxana Ometilia no. Rios de Quiñones. Present. Right on time. Juan Carlos Garcia Laines. Present. Yeah, gotcha. Beatriz Adriana Martinez Marino. Present. I see you too. Abner Alexis Martinez Rivas. Abner. No. Morena Guadalupe Melara Cruz. Present. Thank you. Alison Isabel Ayala Alfaro. Present. See you. 
Celia Carmina Pineda Ábalos. Present. I see you too. Karen Elin García Benítez. No? Okay. Sara Elizabeth Ruiz Ortiz. Present. Okay. I see you. All right, guys. So this is what we're going to do. I wanted to please prepare a short presentation. Okay. We're going to be covering a short presentation on how to prevent yourself from being um, pretty much from being affected from identity theft. All right. So what I'm going to do, I just wanted to recap the, 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 the five steps. Could you please tell me what is step number one? File an initial fraud alert. alert. Step number two. Initiate mm -hmm. a credit freeze. Create a credit freeze. Okay. Number three. File an identity theft report. 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 Number four. Contact Don't credit bureaus and, and businesses. And business. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Number five. Place an extended alert. alert. Good. So what I need you to do is to discuss it real quick. What is it? H. What is it? What does it consist of? And if it's really needed. Okay. Um, I have a collection agency as far as vocabulary. Collection agency. Does anybody know what a collection agency is? No. No. Agencia de cobro. Ah, uh, nice no, Spanish. Love it. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is an agencia de cobro. And what about an attorney? It's a lawyer. It's a lawyer. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that, Ernesto. Any other vocabulary? Loan. Loan is um, when you go to the bank, they give you a loan. You have to pay it back with interest. So, Affidavit. Affidavit is actually a document. Now, I'm not sure if there's any equivalent here in El Salvador, but an affidavit is a document where it tells your like your credit history. Um, how can I ex explain this? Mm. When you have some time, some type of uh, debt, an affidavit is going to let them know, for example, that you already paid. Okay. But I don't know if, if there's an equivalent here in El Salvador. Here it's not the same that the, or historial crediticio is not the same? No, it, it's the finiquito when, when a that bank thing. or a car holder told, mm -hmm. told that you are clear Great. with the debt. Uh -huh, that you are free of debt, for example. Mm -hmm. So that's an affidavit. Tip off. Let me see. Let's go. Eric in, Arnold, Arnoldo. In order. Dispute. Dispute. We already covered what a dispute is. Can anybody tell me? Huh? When you argue something, when you want to, you want to make sure that the other person understand what you're saying or something like that. It's a kind of argue. You want to resolve? Let me see who was it. I think. A disagreement. Mm -mm. <laughs> I like that you're using your resources. She's not here anymore. Oh no, Marcela, you actually disputed the the identity theft. So hey guys from bank blah blah blah. I want to dispute a charge because I didn't do it. Right? It's some it's una disputa, right? So you can get so you can resolve a situation. Clear? We say Reclamo. Mm, a claim, actually, but the fact with dispute is that you're trying to get a resolution. Con una dispute, usted está tratando de lograr algo contrario a lo que ha pasado. 
Mira, Jimena, como le pasó a usted en el restaurante, que le estaban cobrando un montón de cosas, ¿se acuerda? Las tres cervezas que no las me tomé. Tres, las tres chevechas. Qué barba. Ajá, exactly. So that's a dispute. Hey, you are charging me for three beers that I didn't drink. I need my money back. Or the three beers. Or the, if you want to pay them, the three beers. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, anything else? Tip off. A tip off is a, some sort of notification. All right. It's an aviso. So normally, if you hey, uh, there's a tip off, it's a notification that something is going on, and right. What else? That's new vocabulary. Nothing. All right. So let's get it done, guys. I'm gonna ask you to go to the breakout rooms. So number one, you will discuss if it's possible, if it's um, I don't know, if it's doable here in the country, right? And at the end you're going to mention the three of them and give your opinion. So for example, step number one is this. It means that you have to do this and we don't think it's necessary in El Salvador because of this. Number two, the, the step is this. Normally is used because of this and we consider that yes, you have to do it in El Salvador. It is very important because, and you explain. Any question? Yes. Nice. When I see, I hear that silence, that means that there is no question. All right, guys, let's go ahead and accept the invite. Oh, you know what? Don't, 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 don't. I got new, new people. Give me a second. I have to recreate the groups. I have too many people in the groups. Okay, ready. Go for it, please. technique maybe the the words of the video because they speak too fast yeah yeah that too so, so number one is the file one. step one file an initial proud alert i think that that is well in the in this case it will be when you call the bank and say look you are charging me something that i didn't buy or i didn't spend in the place so i think that 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 uh, we do here and and i think it's necessary to do it's the first, yes, the first call is yeah i think that you call the i didn't understand the 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 video because they have like three different like uh, I don't know because they don't call to the bank they go like with a lawyer with uh, I don't know <laughs> something big but uh, I don't I, know why I, I thought that I, hmm, the companies that the video recommends to call in the US I think it's like in here like um become or something like that or la defensoria where, where, no i don't think that that's it's the like the com i guess because they can read or they can have access to your credit um credit score uh, here in el salvador maybe it's because here is not common that somebody is still like your identity your Identity. your numbers or mm -hmm. something like that maybe if someone can, wants to us or identity uh it can be a good option like verify or put a report or a flower alert you have the idea Gladys? Gladys. Gladys. I think she got disconnected for some reason. 
Yeah, okay. it's, it's always having like issues with the internet connection. So in the meantime, all right. Continue. Okay, uh, Celia, and what about the second one? To initiate a credit freeze. You think it's necessary? Is what? Do you think it's necessary to freeze your credit card or debit card? If you already know that um, you were victim of, of identity theft, I think yes. Okay. Or if you yes, know because... that, for example, someone, I, 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 I did that once with my debit card. I okay. um, give my debit card to my brother to buy something on a game. And I don't know if he or someone else take it, but someone, one of her or, or his friend uh, were buying also products on, a, on the game. So I noticed oh, really? because I, I received an alert from the bank by email. An alert. And oh, alert from the bank by email. And I asked him and, and, and she told me that she were, that they were using my card. So I had to, I don't know how to say that, freeze? It's the freeze? Cover word. Yes. I have to freeze, have to freeze uh, you, the card and, I, and they, they gave me a new one. Okay. Yeah, because if you don't do it, I guess they could. Uh, they can. They they can money. continue using. They can continue using. Yeah. I think. So, if it is a credit card, you have to pay at the end of the month for all of the stuff that have been bought. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you're right. And the third. Sir. Hello. Don't have to. Oh. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? Mm, talking about the steps. Okay. And I say Michelle that I told uh, Michelle. To play, I told Michelle to stop to play with that dog because she is annoying. No worries. No worries. <laughs> no worries. I totally understand. Yeah, we, we don't have the third step, I guess. So we can continue with the fourth one. Okay, that. so what are the steps that you would follow then? Remember that here we were, I know the video is a little bit fast. And like I said, not all of them are going to be possible here in El Salvador or not needed. So if you didn't get them, talk about the ones that you would follow. Yeah, but in El Salvador, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, continue. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. uh, the the five the five step uh, the fifth step the sorry <laughs> the don't be sorry step, man don't be sorry uh, uh, is equal in El Salvador uh, we spoke the first step is so important because when I have a, a, a some charge I don't rec I don't I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, I I just called at the bank uh, to block my my debit card or credit card. Mm -hmm. It's so important because be, because uh, the person of que me robó la tarjeta o que me hizo el fraude. Who stole? Who stole? Okay. Podría. Could. Could could uh, follow could, could follow using my 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 identity in my identity uh -huh. my my credit or debit card. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Algo but, ahí vamos. No, pero but está teacher bueno. in El Salvador, in El yeah. Salvador, mm -hmm. if you didn't pay uh, insurance, they the bank doesn't. Yeah doesn't be responsible with your charges. It's, it's not or, responsible. Or, it's not report, it's responsible mm -hmm. of your charges. Correct. Or, Correct. It's a but, sad story. <laughs> sad story. You got to pay for that. You got to pay a, a monthly yeah. fee for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, but one of terms uh, of visa is, is a 
that all of credit cards have uh, one insurance. Uh, when when I have a fraud, a fraud, I have a fraud. Fraud. Mm -hmm. uh, the bank, the bank, uh, solvent or respond. Uh, takes at, care. At, okay, takes care. At the, at the, at the, al cliente. Take care of the customer. Of the customer, okay. Now, Daniel, pausa. Okay. Me llega. Es una cosa. So, hay una expresión, oh. eh, there's an expression, don't do you down. Don't do you down. Do you down, okay. Es como no, no, no se menosprecie sí. en cuestión del inglés. Uno sabe sus capacidades sí. limitantes, pero por eso está acá. Yes, así yes. que así es that's como right, practicando, right. usted va, tú vas a lograr entender. Así que con okay. todo, mi amigo, démosle. Con todo menos sí. miedo. O con Cabal. miedo, pero dele, aunque lo tenga. Dele, ¿de dónde está? Miedo. All right. That's, that's, that's right, that's right. That's right. Chapeciado. Yeah, okay. that's right. A salary, for example. Okay. okay. They need to know uh, from where the money, is, the money comes, maybe. Mm -hmm. They need yeah. to be sure that is something legal. Yeah. In this case. Okay, so uh, the first step, it will be report initial movements in our account. The second one. Ask for, for freeze or credit account or, or, or card account. No sé, ¿cómo, ¿cómo puedo decir eso, teacher? Que me congelen la tarjeta. I need to ask for a freeze on, on my credit card. Okay. Mm -hmm. Freeze us, credit card. I need to ask for a freeze on my credit card. I need to ask for a freeze. Many years ago, I, mm -hmm. I was problem with my credit card because uh, one day I was in my house and, and received a text message in the cell phone. Uh, my credit card uh, was charged uh, Pollo Campero <laughs> when I never buy Pollo Campero in this moment. Immediately uh, I called the bank and reported this file in the, the bank uh, present the, the, the Pros. credit card. Pros, the credit card. Mm -hmm. And uh, money back perform my 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 back my my money perform my money refunded and, and, uh, refunded refunded my money. refunded my money at the at the credit card. Okay, was it a debit card or credit card? No credit card. Mm, okay, okay, credit card. good. Um, how are you doing with the topic, guys? Which step are you working on? Uh, step number yeah. two. Number two. Okay. We still have a couple of more minutes, no more than 9.30. Okay. There's still a couple of things to do. Continue doing your best, guys. Thank you. Okay. okay. Use password and change them regularly. Use password. Okay, I have uh, this one. It call the companies where you know uh, fraud occurs. Yeah. Okay, it can be uh, or place a fraud alert and get and get your credit reports. Okay. So you can make that. Uh, report the identity theft. Okay, important too. Okay. Teacher, we are not very sure if the, from the steps of the video, mm -hmm. if here in El Salvador we can have the five steps to place and extend the fraud alert. Exactly, that's the point. 
for you to have that doubt. Mm -hmm. So yeah, normally, normally we don't do all of that. And that's what we're going to be discussing when we go back. Okay. Okay. All right. Keep it in. Keep it rolling. Keep the ball rolling. Okay. See you at 9.30. Okay. Nice. Well, the uh, okay. mm -hmm. is initiate a credit freeze. Uh, okay, I, go, I, try, I try to put in the screen. Uh, just let me see how can be visible. No, it can. No, no, no. Uh, file uh, WhatsApp, and initial. Uh, at my WhatsApp, file, WhatsApp, please. File an initial fraud alert. Um, if you can, you can send me a, a message. Gracias, 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 gracias. Recontra, gracias. Thank you, thank you, thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, it's in the in the cell phone teacher in, in WhatsApp. Somebody no, no, no. send send me um uh, the five steps. Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> what was and the, the second one? one the first one. File See. and in And what did you Eric say? What did you say about the file and an initial fraud alert? Alert. So alert. what we discussing? Alert. What we're discussing well, with Telia is <laughs> <laughs> what we're discussing with Telia is that uh, that uh, an initial fraud alert is when you maybe when you call to the bank reporting to the the the, the that is, that your identity the, that your credit card or a debit card has been stolen. Mm -hmm. Someone else mm -hmm. has your information and uh, through the, the, uh, the phone call, you alert them. And the seller was saying something about the difference maybe with, between the first step and the, the third step, because they are similar, uh, yes. but not equal, but not the same. Not the same, correct. Um, no. In this one, Eric, just a little tip. When you say call, you don't use to. Call the bank, call, you know, the, the company, call home, right? So no to. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. So you finished? Uh, I guess we, have, yeah. we already yes, finished. Yes. Well, we were just discussing some of them because Gladys were disconnected. She got disconnected, <laughs> okay. Yeah. And, be, in, and we don't have to worry about it because Celia works in an institution like similar to this one. So it's going to be our speaker. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. You know more the about it, Tuffy. Okay. Talk about it. Yeah, you know more. Yeah, I You're know some things because of that. Uh, maybe not because I, I was like offer or were a victim of something like that I, I i had some experience about that but it's not like more more of the information that i i get about this topic is because on the word they always give us like uh, documents videos on, on that okay. kind of of things on how to prevent identity theft how to uh, <clears throat> avoid fraud and so on Okay, so nice. You are very involved in the topic. Great. So uh, continue, guys, to see if it's possible in Salvador, you know, in, in your personal comments. And uh, uh, we're going to go back at 9.30. All right? Okay. 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 Good. We miscalculated, so now you owe a dollar and some. Yeah. I paid that oh day and, it's, and wait another 15 days. And then when I get to say, oh, no, you have balance on your favor. We owe you oh 55 God. cents. So you need to spend 55 cents with a credit card? No way. <laughs> so it was so difficult to put that in a zero. Or they say, okay, we, we agree, you, you don't owe, you, we don't owe you. That was difficult, five months. And they didn't let you to, to lose that 50 cents? No, uh, I told them, I don't want that 50 cents, take them. Those, because those in that in that point, sometimes they finally went fifteen cents one time, and I couldn't. Mm -hmm. So that was so difficult. <laughs> My God! Wow. 
Okay, interesting. Sorry, Marieta. <laughs> I think that that was because they don't want to lose you. I As know, a client. know how valued I am, and I know they will suffer without me, but please let me go. <laughs> but I don't want this credit card. I don't want to be with you anymore. No way. I know you can replace me. I know. <laughs> please let me go. Yeah, normally, uh, yeah. normally okay. they would do whatever they need to keep you as a customer. But, yeah. but I heard something that could be useful yeah. for all of us. I, I heard yeah. that if you are a client and you use your credit card and you buy whatever you want, but at the end of the month, you pay everything. So they are not making money through your interest because they are not winning or earning interesting because you buy everything all in once they are mm -hmm. not so interested in you mm -hmm. so if you go and say look i want my membership back they may not give you because they say that they spend money before they pay to the seller with uh, who give gave you the credit card and anything and then if you say okay if you don't give me that back will quit and I will cancel that that credit card they will tell you yes because you are not a person of interest for them because you are not using the credit you you earn the points you catch the miles but because you pay every month they are not interested so they will let you go easily hmm. interesting <laughs> But if we don't have the money, <laughs> we they are happy to then have we us. have to suffer. <laughs> yeah. They, Not to mention the, the, the expression us. that we heard yesterday. <laughs> See, yes. <laughs> All right. I will not let you go. So, guys, um, good job. We're going to go back to the main room so we can share, okay? Okay. Perfect. Let's rock it. Okay, little by little people is coming back. Give me a second. Okay, is everybody back? Okay, great. So I need a couple of volunteers guys in order for you to tell me um, about the steps about what you think just a couple me Maria. go ahead Marisabel we were we were talking about that the step one and step two and we agreed that a uh, that is useful do it in and happens in our mm -hmm. country because you go to your bank and say it's happening this I didn't spend that money that is the step one file an initial fraud alert and we all do that mm -hmm. and the second one is initiate a credit freeze you don't need to ask the bank will tell you once they know that you are in trouble and, and you say what can I do they say okay we could block your card we could, we could block this so you will be safe Okay. And then well, the third one, see, I, I think that uh, that it is uh, are the steps that we used to do when when something like that happens. But you need to go to the bank or live for hours and hours in the telephone with Banco Cuscatlan, mm -hmm. and they will have you hours and hours in the telephone. But they will do that. But you need to be checking because they tell you, I already did, gave you a number of uh, what is the name. Question, they say, uh, like the like the case number. Yeah, they can give you a case and, number. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, but when you call three days later, they don't remember. And nobody knows where is that, so they will give you another one. But if you have patience, you will get it. The okay. the five the, the four and the five we don't need we don't find it that is so useful here. And we were talking about that maybe it's because until beginning this year, we were used to do the things in person. We used to go to the bank, okay. we used to go to some place, and no longer after the, the pandemic, we don't do that so freely. So maybe we are getting to the point 
when the steps four and five will be necessary to do, but not right now. Okay, understood. Any comments to that, guys? And I said all of that because you didn't mention my name again in the list, hmm. in the attendance list. Okay, that's so okay. I'm making myself notice. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know. And uh, I'm going to let them know because they were supposed to contact you. They called so. me today. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Thank you all the time for your participation, Maria Isabel. Any other volunteer that wants to share? Oh, and by the way, I'm sorry. I've been uh, checking, I've been seeing this in the group. We are using call to, llamará, that's a Spanish. Call and the person you're calling. Call my mom, call my sister, call the bank, right? Call the police if you have an emergency. So call uh, without two. Good, I need a volunteer. Just one. I can't believe this. No one wants to be a part of it? Okay, thank you, Alison. Well, we were talking about the five steps we saw in the video. And we uh, agree that the four ones are possible mm -hmm. in our country, but we're not really sure if the five ones to if play the fifth, and, oh, that's another one. If the fifth one. If, okay, if the fifth one thing, mm -hmm. it plays an extended for alerts, is possible to to make it here. I'm not really sure if we have that option here. I don't know if someone knows. That's a that's actually a very good question that that we can ask the group, right? We can ask the, the group if it's possible here. What do you think about those steps? Mm -hmm. So in my case, I guess the number four is probably the, like uh, they say, it is not uh, really useful here because we don't have those kind of institutions. But we were discussing with our group that may, it may be that in that case, here in El Salvador, it might be when you when you go to the police and file another report, when you get the information from your banks in order to let them know that something else is happening. And because the bank also asks for that information in order to continue continue uh, filing the filing the information. And the fifth, it might be like a kind of insurance, I guess, because they ask they ask you when you go to the bank if you want to have a this kind of a well in my case I remember that someone asked me if I would like to have a this kind of a service and I didn't say no because I don't I don't take my car or debit card out from my house but if uh, it's necessary I guess it's a kind of insurance okay do you guys agree to that no. I agree Okay, now, yeah. um, most of these issues are actually with credit cards, right? Now, what do you think are the benefits of a credit card? Or let's go ahead and compare debit cards and credit cards, okay? What do you think are the benefits of debit cards? You can um, control. You can control what they can steal. <laughs> <laughs> you can control it what they can say. It depends okay. to the person. Yes. It depends it depends to the person and the circumstance circumstance because I can't have a credit card and I can I can use a, a debit card because you, you I'm can't? a shopaholic. Oh now I understand. Yes, I can't. <laughs> Okay, and uh, what do you think uh, has to be done in order for you, you know, to keep control? Mm. Maybe be more responsible. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful about what you get, what you bought with your cards, your uh, credit card, because you don't pay that immediately, 
you feel like you have a, a lot of money, you can spend a lot of, a, a, you can spend a lot that it, you can't because mm -hmm. at the end of the month, you have to pay it up. Uh, something. You have to pay like like a fee, right? And it's always uh, yes. and it's always there. Now, so and this if, is if you only pay the, the the small quantity of money, you never you never uh, uh, solve the, the the that loan. Okay. All right. And uh, with this one, guys, I I mean no, the, the topic is a little bit complicated because not all of you um, actually do this very often. Okay, so what we're gonna do is the following. Who has a credit card right here? Who has a credit card? Okay, Marisa <coughs> has. Okay. Good, good, good. Who I has? Have. Who has a debit card? Me, yeah, Eric. <laughs> like most of them, right? And um, but let me I see. Use only. That's only. exactly what I wanted to do. So now, guys, we are only going to have five minutes. And in these five minutes, I want you to please um, compare the benefits of credit cards against debit cards. We're just going to have five. And when we come back, you're going to tell me what it is, OK? OK. All right, go ahead and accept it, please. In my case, I prefer use a credit card because uh, the credit card have insurance. The credit card has has insurance, um, and the credit card, credit card I win miles, for example. To uh -huh, you earn miles. Uh, miles. Um, yeah, because I think that both both of them has um, has insurance. It depends. Also, it depends on the bank that you have to. You're ah, at. maybe, maybe, maybe. And um, I think the difference is that uh -huh. with credit cards you have like the temptation, or I don't know of buying something because you think, all right, I mm -hmm. have a credit card and uh, I don't have the money in physics, but, but I can use my credit card and buy and everything I, well, I, I want. And that's a problem because some, suddenly you have been using your credit card for a long time. And at the end of the, of the month, it's a lot of money that you are debiting. So you need to be very careful very careful the, the, the what do you say in english teacher uh, disciplina discipline uh, discipline discipline uh-huh uh, it's necessary to uh, have a discipline to use a credit card for it is for, very necessary it is very necessary uh, because uh, to to try to 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 pay anything, <laughs> yeah. It, this this I did this product maybe to 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 have a, a very expensive because you need to pay a uh, uh, immediately uh, the, the charges a uh, credit card for example in the debit card not but only only pay when you have a uh, money yep correct it's, uh, 
are different, but need need a, a discipline. Yeah. yeah. Maybe when we get older, we can we can <laughs> have more discipline. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Be careful. At my age, I. I, I I mean I have my own card and I always try to turn right. Como digo to me, profe? Turn, turn my card. Mm -hmm. So I something about new rings or rings. Rings, uh huh. Rings, uh, LED light LEDs or LED lights and everything to to think to have my card perfect. But if I have a credit card, <laughs> wow, it will be uh, something crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally, yeah. totally, totally crazy. Uh, uh, and the credit card is maybe important when and when you have a emergency. For example, emergency. Emergency. Uh, the health, your, for example, in the family. Mm -hmm. In this case, is very important. But you know the 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 charges. It's very expensive when you to try to pay the the uh, lo más pronto posible, teacher. How do you say? As soon as possible. As soon as possible. Mm -hmm. As soon as possible. What do you think, Andrea? Um, well, I was thinking that sometimes credit card is used to like a guarantee to pay things that you buy in like that you paid in like pagos i don't know how to say it payments yeah and payments yeah and i think that uh, it it's in cases like that where you can use your credit card but i prefer my debit card because uh, i feel more secure that i'm not going to to waste money that i don't have <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i feel uh safer Safer, yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No, don't be sorry. Or, or example, comfortable, actually, too. Okay. For example, uh, many kinds of, of uh, credit card to, to give uh, internet free in the in the some place in the for example in the airports, a restaurant, and different part part of work work and uh, when when you travel is is very important for example in many times no no have internet in this case the credit card the for application for apps to give a password to connect uh, this wi-fi for example okay Alrighty, guys. So we got fifteen seconds. Let's go back to the very, to the main room. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Alrighty, guys. So now we are that we are almost all of us back. Let me go ahead and take attendance for the last time, the last part of it. Let me see. Ana Maria Mazoquín Rivera. Hmm? No. Yeah. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba. Amy Rosa, Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. David Orlando Nerio. Then I got Abner Alexis Martinez Rivas. Karen Eileen García Benítez. No. And, and me. And you, Marisa Isabel. Mm. All right, thank you very much. So guys, um, I wanna hear your opinion. What are the differences, the advantages, disadvantages of uh, debit cards and credit cards? That's what we're gonna be closing with today. Me, Roxana. Okay, go ahead. Um, we were talking about that in some stores or in some, I don't know if you want to access to some studies or something like that, uh, you need a credit card to 
to, I don't know, buy things in some stores. They don't accept mm -hmm. like a debit card, just they accept credit cards. Really? Yeah, maybe it's because when you have a credit card, they um, look for more information about you. Mm -hmm. So they I have didn't. like a history of your credit and something. <laughs> I don't know. Like when you go to buy a fridge or stove or even a car or something, and, and, and if you are going uh, having a credit or buying that, they ask you a credit card as a like a reference that you that you are responsible using those. If you manage good the credit card, you will have a good report for them, and then we'll give you the fridge or the stove. Mm. Wow. Yeah, for they. The first they... Time they dig into, dig into. Dig is cavar, so they dig, in, they dig into more information. Dig into. Uh, that is a big benefit. Mm -hmm. That's right. Alrighty, thank you very much. As far as Maria Isabel and Roxana, any other opinion? Remember, this is a group discussion that we're gonna close the, the session with. Okay, yeah, well, in our case, what we did cause is uh, Hey, well, it's supposed that, that uh, credit cards are mm -hmm. safer than debit cards. And also, if you pay with a credit card, you can you can get a discount. Or maybe if you have a plan, you can get miles in order to travel. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. we also discussed that we don't know why why some some stores force you to to use your credit card instead of your debit cards. Mm -hmm. Maybe because they have an agreement between the store and the banks, and they are trying, they are forcing you to to use it. I, I don't know why exactly, but and having a, a credit card is a is kind of double edged sword, because like I said before, because you don't pay it right immediately, you can you can think that you can get a lot of, a lot of things, but if you pay the minimum quantity of money, you never. We'll the minimum the, the, amount. The, the total amount of yes, the minimum the minimum amount. You will never pay the total amount of what you what you get. What you what you have been bought. Okay. Very good. So, do you guys agree with these comments that we have had about this type of uh, payment method? Yeah. Yeah, I would. I just said something interesting about the the credit cards and the and the time you have for getting notice that something is wrong. So I would like to Aldo say again because I already forgot the whole idea. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> I, I think that the the idea was when, uh, for the example, the, by the laptop. Uh -huh. No, and, and that you buy, but then you notice that something is wrong, but you have time. Before they take your money, you have time for... For... Free. Uh, for, 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 for no errors and, and tricky charges before... You said something, and it sounds nice. So please tell it again. I think that was um, Roxana's idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. I I, 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 I said from the beginning. I forgot. The maybe, I maybe it was. I don't know if that was. Maybe it was because when you uh, use a credit card, you are using the bank money, right? It, it was yeah. that, Maria Isabel. I think so. See, uh, see. Okay. Um, if you pay insurance, obviously, they call you that somebody used your car. And if it wasn't you, you immediately go and say that you didn't use your car and that is not your, your purchase. Yeah, your purchase. Purchase. Mm -hmm. uh, so the bank is like very active 
like close your account and everything, but if you use your debit card, it's your money, the bank, does the, they do their work, but not with like, they do with credit cards. With credit cards, they move really fast because it's their money. But with debit cards are your own money. So they- it's your own money. It's, yeah. So it's like a slow mm -hmm. to- They don't care about your money. It, they care because no you are a client, <laughs> right? Yeah, and but it's, it's like a slow, a slow. With credit cards, you uh, put the, the alert and they do it really fast because in that case, it's the bank money. The bank's yeah, money. They don't the want bank's to money. money. Okay. She said that, I remember now. Okay. All right. <laughs> and uh, what? Okay. Are, uh, uh, sorry, ahead. and uh, another, another topic that we show, that we talk about, was when you are trying to buy something and uh, you, you have to use your debit card, you have to, you have had your, the total amount of the, of the product. I mean, if you want to, if you need to buy a laptop and the laptop uh, the, is, its cost is $700, you have to get on your account seven hundred dollars you need to have the amount in your card yes exactly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but if you haven't you can't buy it so if you if you have a credit card you can buy the laptop no matter no matter what and if you want you can put it on on um, on quotes mm -hmm. and you can pay the interest so you always pay if the laptop cost seven hundred dollars and you put it on cost on quotes the price, the final price of the laptop will be always $700. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Yeah, I guess. Without interest. Uh, that, uh, that's zero interest. That's what I was going to tell mm -hmm. you. I think that that is the best way to buy with zero yeah. interest. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But what are the responsibilities that comes whenever you buy like that? Because if you use yeah. your credit card, even though it's zero interest, if you don't pay on time, you have paid exactly. You have to pay interest, interest at last mm -hmm. at the end for months. Correct. Yeah. That's the tricky thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes it is. You have to ask uh, to the bank for the deadlines that may that they make the I don't know how to say it, el corte when you can pay. The due date. The due date. The due date. The due date. Correct. The due date. Okay, now everybody's talking about credit card guys. So what I need you to do right now is to tell me what are the benefits you have with debit cards against debit cards. I mean, the main benefit is that your own money. You don't, you don't know. Anything. You don't have to pay to no one. I mean, the bank mm -hmm. for that money, you can use it uh, in the time you need it, if you have it in your account, okay. um, you don't have to worry about uh, giving it back again. Correct. That's your money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have another one. Go ahead. The debit card doesn't uh, charge you with annual fees. Really? Like the membership. Mm -hmm. yep. They like charge you the for the manage of the account. Yes, they they get something. Yes, no, maybe, yes. always. Maybe the bank. No. Not always. Yes, they do. The bank. Yeah, yeah. and then the users. If you if you lost your debit card, they you have to pay. Mm -hmm. But uh, the annual fees, I don't think that they have. It. Well, actually, they never charge me with a debit mm -hmm. card. Yeah. No, they, they, it, it's not an annual fees. <laughs> it is something like. They, 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 like Gladys like said, it is something that you pay for handling your, your account. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah. or if you, but if handling you your account, account more, it's another, it's another five. thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's different. Yeah. yeah, it's another thing. Uh, I, I was talking about that with, uh, with my group that I can't remember it was Banco Cucatlán or Banco de América Central, one of those where 
that they charge you a hidden fee for uh, administrate for the administration of your money. If you got yeah. less than uh, fifty dollars on your account, they charge you monthly uh, a hidden fee for the administration of the of your money. Bank of Catalan. Oh, they, <laughs> they usually do that. Because I remember that I have $25 and when I went to the bank in order to get some money, I didn't have anything. So but let me get this straight. Money. They charge you for handling money that you don't yeah. have. Yeah. yeah. Yep. They, yeah. they charge yeah. money that you have in your account. If you, if you got Great less business. than 50 months, if you have less than $50 on your mm -hmm. account, the hidden fee that you, they charge you for handling that money. For keeping that money, I'm in trouble then. <laughs> Why? Go and close that account. I'm in trouble. Yeah, I also okay. know that uh, with debit cards, uh, they don't charge you by uh, how do you say sacar dinero? Withdrawn. Oh yeah, okay. they don't charge withdraw. you for withdraw well, money. Sorry, withdraw. They, it is an irregular oh. verb. Withdraw, withdrawn. Oh, for withdraw mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. but, but they you must pay attention because they tell you if you do that more than three times or more than five times in a month or something they will charge you they tell you that in the contract mm -hmm. but the small print yeah you i know. think it depends yeah. on the on the bank depends depends on, uh, the it, bank. It depends on, on how many times maybe you three or yeah 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 or two. Uh, another thing that I, that I think that it's important with debit cards is that they don't doesn't affect your your credit rating, so you can have like a, a like a, a little like poco dinero or a lot, and it doesn't affect on your credit rating. That's a good yeah, point. Yeah, sometimes you need, and sometimes you need a good That's record. A good that's another mm -hmm. good Especially point. Especially if you want to buy something yeah. real important. That's another good point. Guys, you are full of important points. Correct. <laughs> so <laughs> the thing is that I wish that um, that you are able to manage it properly. Especially some people, I'm not going to tell you who, uh, made a lot of mistakes in the past. When Whenever you're young, you are kind of, you know, lack of experience. <laughs> young. So sometimes you gotta work very, you gotta work very hard to fix those mistakes. Okay. Ah. You see, you feel me, brother. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I, I know. I've been there. Yeah. And it's, you know okay, something guys. else. Go ahead. When you want to cancel a credit card, you can't because you call, you call, you call the bank, and they never attend your calls. They they yeah. keep you waiting and waiting and waiting. <laughs> you try yeah. to cancel a credit card for two years and I, and I can't. And I can't even, I can't. I couldn't. And I, and I couldn't. It's, okay. it's amazing. And when the bank gives you the credit card, it's easy. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's quite easy. <laughs> One day. <laughs> exactly. As a matter of fact, sometimes they call you hey, we have approved another loan to you. Do you want to take that money? We can send it to you immediately. Yes. Come on. <laughs> All right, guys. And they also say, you don't need to come to the bank. We will get you. We, we will go we to will your home. You. We will send you the check. Imagine that. Yes. So, guys, yeah. I really hope that none of you work in a bank. Okay. You know, because <laughs> no. it is honest work, right? Yes. It is honest work. So, guys, um, I like this. Um, I've, I've been trying new things, and I think we're going to have more group discussions, not only in the breakout rooms, but I appreciate you participating in this type of topics. When it's about money, everybody wants to talk about it. So, um, <laughs> remember, guys, I'm going to, right now, after the class, I'm going to check the, the forum, and I'm going to post a new one. I'm going to post about... Uh, debit cards versus credit cards. All right, pros and cons about debit cards and uh, credit cards. Also, remember, I think 2.8 should be done already. Work on your homework, and if you have any question, let me know. If there's any issue, I will report it so it can get fixed. 
Okay. I tried okay. in that one, Thank but mm -hmm. there is a part where it says the answers are true or false. Mm -hmm. But I guess I thought that that we needed to hear something before to answer that part. Before answering, before uh, answering before that answering. part. Good. Let me go ahead and double check it, and I'm gonna get back to you on that one. All right, Marisol. Thank you. Very good. So, guys, thank you. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Good night. Good night.